Hi, I'm Ben Pinder. I'm the PR account manager at Red Stag Media and welcome to a special edition of Agri Marketing Mastery because it coincides with the launch of a major new report we've produced on the future of agricultural machinery. And as you can see, it's a beautiful thing. Here it is. So the report is, as I say, is looking at really at what the future holds for farmers, for, but more importantly for agribusinesses. And it's really what they need to understand about how the industry's evolving and shaping and it covers a wide range of topics and it's already sparking quite a lot of debate so i'd encourage you to take a look see what you think get some insights for the future and then obviously share your own thoughts but as a quick overview just to give you an idea the report's a comprehensive look at everything and it looks at everything from autonomous machinery about how our robots are going to be coming into the field data is a really big part of this and it's about understanding the huge amounts of data that are being collected by all of this high-tech machinery and the precision agriculture movement and what that data means, how we're going to use it, is there too much data, how do we connect it all together obviously. We obviously look at the evolution of the tractor which is inevitable, it's a huge part of farming life so it looks at the, the, the rise in the giant machines, whether we need to step away from that, how they're going to become autonomous, what bits of kit we're going to see on them. Consolidation is another interesting point. There's a big call from a lot of those involved in the report and we have spoken to some of the, the biggest brands, some real industry experts to check, get their insights and understanding of where it's going. But consolidation is something that a lot of people are calling for to get agribusinesses such as yourself and the manufacturers to work more closely together to make more universal components, to start pooling data together so we get a more holistic view. Legislation inevitably comes up with everyone calling for the government to do far more to help farmers to take advantage of all the latest tech you're developing. Um, and one of the interesting things that we raise the question, and that forms some more of this video really, are we seeing the death of brand loyalty? And it's a controversial question I'll give you and the report goes into it in more detail and explains why, but I'll touch on it in this. So, with this agri-marketing mastery video, the report, as I say, is comprehensive. It really raises a lot of issues, but one of the big things it really does raise for an agribusiness such as yourself is the need to think about how you communicate as well. There's huge advances being made, but there's also huge advances being made in communication. So in this agri-marketing mastery video, I'm going to just quickly touch on some of those ideas. We can talk about what that means for you, how you can get your brand out there, be more successful, drive your marketing and your communications, and really think a little bit differently. So as I've said, the report is really talking about the evolution of the, the machinery sector and this move to precision agriculture and all of the different ways we're moving forward and developing new techniques. But the same can be said for communications and marketing. That has evolved dramatically in recent years. And you must work harder to try and take advantage of these opportunities. A number of agribusinesses are already starting to, to move into this sphere and take advantage of the big brand tactics that um, the likes of the big fashion brands, the tech brands, things like that have been doing for years now and starting to think about different channels, different ideas and about how they reach the audience more directly. The farming audience you're trying to communicate with are becoming far more sophisticated. They're starting to access information through multiple different channels. And that means you've got to do a multi-channel approach. You've got to be thinking about how you're reaching out across various different channels to make sure you're remaining relevant to your customer. How are you reaching them? You can't just rely on events and the traditional print anymore. They still have the place in the, the communications and marketing mix, but that is exactly what it's got to be about. It's got to be about a mix of really good quality channels, understanding where your customers are and making sure you're delivering engaging and relevant content in that area. So what all of this means is there are new ways to communicate and market and reach out and sell and push and connect with your customers. So looking beyond the events and the print, you know, the, the good old fashioned uh, ag media, you need to be thinking about all of these different channels and exploring what they mean. So there's content marketing, which is about blogging. Most of this, I should say, if you go through the Agri Marketing Mastery um, back catalogue, there should be some good insights into all of these different channels and about how you can make use of them. But think about content marketing. People are using Google increasingly to search for ideas and inspiration you need to be getting the content out there so your results are popping up first and you're being seen by your customers. Paid search, this fills the void if your content marketing isn't there, make sure you come in top of the search results. Social media, 
it's a, a, a huge opportunity social media and I'm sure you're already aware of it but make sure you're thinking about where your farming audiences are who you're trying to target there's a, a, a new generation of very digitally savvy farmers coming through so think about which platforms they're using where you need to be where your target audience is exactly and look at that podcasting I think everyone recognizes the the relevance relevance of podcasting and it seems to be possibly even more important in agriculture because there's so much time to sit and listen to podcasts so think about is there an opportunity to do that video obviously as you can see video is really powerful it's something we really like to utilize and use it's really engaging content so make sure you're bringing that into the mix and then start to think about some of the emerging tech stuff as well so VR has huge potential there's a lot of people adopting the tech it's really fast growing and just think about how you can incorporate VR into that mix it might be you know with your machinery you know can you do a virtual tour of what it looks like in your machine to feel how it drives you know showcase some of the new innovations and tools but think about all of the emerging tech keep your finger on the pulse and think how can you use that but again keep going back to your customer and thinking how is it going to be relevant another one of the the issues raised in the report that I thought was quite interesting was really about um making the right impression so you're developing this incredibly precision bits of kit it's some of the incredible innovations really high tech um stuff but you might have a very tired boring traditional brand and i'm sorry to say that agriculture is particularly guilty of this they've had a brand that's been around for years never bothered updating it it feels tired it feels outdated it feels musty i suppose and a little bit fuddy duddy if you're trying to push out that you're the big innovator in your field in this ag tech space your brand needs to reflect that so think about how you appear externally look at your branding sharpen it up make it uh, make it much more relevant to what you're trying to do next up is the case study and the case study is still king you cannot forget to use case studies and the reason for that is farmers trust each other so make sure you've got a farmer who's front and center as part of all of this multi-channel comm strategy they're saying how they're using it how it's impacting their life on the farm what benefits it's bringing try and showcase where there is a benefit in terms of certainly revenue show some stats some figures how it's actually transforming what they're doing but case studies are still so strong and relevant because farmers want to understand what other farmers are doing to make sure you take advantage of that and incorporate that into everything you do so the final element of this is about building trust and that comes back to that um, controversial question we raised about is this the death of brand loyalty and what that's about is there's so many new ways to communicate and reach out and things like that you might have had a relationship with the same farming family that spans four generations and that loyalty can be a really powerful tool but if your competitors are reaching them in lots of different areas and they're getting into their network of friends who they talk about new bits of kit there's going to be a temptation to move on so you've got to make sure you're remaining part of that inner circle and with this multi-channel approach it's all got to be connected so no matter which channel they're accessing they're still seeing the same messages the same important return on their investment they're going to get from your piece of machinery whatever it needs to be but it's got to be building that trust becoming the trusted friend sharing advice giving your insight showing how it's going to be used be generous with what you've got and make sure you are remain the trusted partner to the farmer and with that you're going to see success so the final thing i say is um with the report download it that's the big thing now there'll be a download link with this video so have a look at it let us know what you think and one of the more important things in it as part of this report because it's raising so many interesting questions particularly around communication and how you as an agribusiness have got to evolve and shape your thinking in marketing there's also a chance to speak to me and there's a part of downloading the report you'll get the chance to book a free 30 minute consultation and we can talk about your existing comm strategy where there's going to be some opportunities and think about what you can do next so get the report downloaded i hope you like it let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next agri marketing mastery thank you